Hey, good Sunday morning, everybody. Storm Team Meteorologist Griffin Hardy here in the CBS 42 Weather Center talking about how gorgeous today is going to be. The sun is back out in Summerton. It's going to be fantastic outside. Be sure to go enjoy it because this is the last day that we'll have all sunshine all day. Temperatures are still chilly outside this morning. We're in the 30s and 40s across much of the viewing area just after 730 a.m. and I'm happy to say that it'll be a great day to go outside and go for a hike. If you're headed out to Red Mountain today, we'll be in the upper 40s by 9 a.m. and then this afternoon will be the best time to go out there. Temperatures up into the low 60s for our daytime highs today here in Birmingham, mid and upper 60s for places farther down to the southwest. Here's the bigger picture. Not much happening across the deep south with the exception of some sleet that's developing up towards Tennessee, up towards Nashville, and also some light rain mixed in with that. That'll stay off to the north. Won't have to deal with that for the rest of the day today. It'll be beautiful out there, but moving into tomorrow, we'll have this nearly stationary band of heavy rain that sets up over the northern half of the viewing area, and that could really add up for our rainfall totals. We're talking about anywhere from three to six inches of rain just for tomorrow when you factor that in on top of the rain that we've seen already for much of this past uh, much of January. Much of the winter has been really wet. Definitely going to be talking about that risk for flooding for many of us. That band of really heavy rain is going to be nearly stationary. So places like Asheville, Jasper, even Birmingham could see anywhere from four to potentially seven inches of rain tomorrow, flooding a very uh, considerable problem potentially for tomorrow. So keep that in mind. We already have an aerial flood watch in effect until uh, until Tuesday night at 6 p.m. It'll turn valid at 6 a.m. tomorrow. This may get upgraded to a flash flood watch, I think, over the next um, potentially next 12 to 24 hours. Here's the rest of the seven day forecast. Not much light at the end of the tunnel for the rest of the seven day. The rain just keeps on going Tuesday and Wednesday, and there's already a risk for severe storms Thursday. But the main focus, of course, is in the short term. We'll focus more on the flooding because that's going to be more problematic and over a larger area. We'll get to Thursday, of course, with time, but definitely keep in mind that the risk for flooding is going to be there tomorrow and for the next couple of days.